All praises to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Wa Rakakodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like. Pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well, including you men who may not be teachers or prophets, to you women, sons, and daughters also. And the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel, none of this would even be possible. All right. So did you brothers, well, really you sisters as well, you brothers and you sisters, do you really consider how important it is that you keep your faith and you hold on to your faith, seeing that a lot of people, in fact, most people, they don't have it. They lack that. They don't have it, man. All right? So don't allow people's unbelief throw you off. Don't let this world distract you. See, you've been given something special. But don't let your gift, seeing that it's rare and many don't have it, have you thinking maybe this ain't where it's at. No, this is where it's at. And it's a precious thing that what you're involved in, many people cannot obtain that. Okay, let's go to the book of Psalms chapter 119 and verse 46. I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings and will not be ashamed. So we are not ashamed. Why do you think brothers are able to go out on the streets in front of everybody, man? Our boss from, or not our boss, our manager, supervisor, <clears throat> you know, exes, enemies, whoever can see us out there doing the work. So we're not ashamed. And that's the spirit that we have to keep. We have to keep that spirit of confidence and being bold and not being ashamed to preach this word. Even seeing most people, they don't care. Most people, they don't agree. Most people, they don't believe. We are not to be ashamed. Because faith-based Israelites will escape death. And a lot of people may find ways to try to mock and speak against those who have faith because they themselves don't have faith. See, a man can claim to be a teacher or a prophet. That does not mean he has faith. That does not mean he's not full of shit. I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings and will not be ashamed. So we have to be so emboldened in the truth that even when we present these videos to the world, understanding, look, even the elites see what's going on. Is that a reason to fear? Is that a reason to all of a sudden get, get ashamed because the ones who run this whole entire earth at this present time can hear us bringing out this word, okay? And then it may come into a point where we may be presented in front of kings, be presented before the elites, okay? And we have to present the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai as a testimony, mm -hmm. okay? And to show our faith. So let's go forward, man. Let's go to the book of 2nd Ezra. Chapter 15 and verse 3. <clears throat> Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. So we understand there's a lot of different imaginations against us, man. Who knows what people think when they come across these videos, when they drive past us, when we're outside, what they think of us in our day-to-day -day lives when we're at work or just out in public in general. There's a lot of evil imaginations against us because these because these people are demons. They have evil spirits on them. But we're not in fear of that because at the end of the day, all of you people... All of you non-believers, 
who speak ill against this word, you're only doing what you're created to do. Okay? You have been basically manipulated into thinking you control yourself. When the Heavenly Father, all right, the one who you're speaking against through his son, Yahweh Shai, who you're speaking against, control you. Control everything that you do. So fear in the imagination of our enemies, that's not the way to go. The Lord controls these people. And these people do give us trouble. They irritate us. They get under our skin. But don't fear. All right? Don't fear that they, out, they outnumber us. Don't fear that you may feel alone. And there's many of them. Don't fear. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity, basically, incredulity would be like another way of saying, um, uh, what's that word? For lack of better terms, incredulity would be like a person without faith. Someone who, who doesn't believe. An infidel. Okay? Someone who's not faithful, they don't have faith, they don't believe, okay? Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So all of these people who don't have faith, <laughs> they're going to die. Only faith-based Israelites will escape death. All right, let's go to the book of Romans. We're going to go to the book of Romans now. Chapter 10. And verse 17. So then by faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So. We're presenting the word so that you may hear. And if you're of the elect, if you're of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. He put something in you from birth called faith. Matter of fact, let me hold this and let me jump to the book of Ephesians. We're going to go to the book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. For by grace are you saved through faith and are not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. So if you have faith, you've been given that as a gift from Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Okay? You've been given that. So in order for you to have belief after hearing the word, first and foremost, faith has to be given to you before you're even born. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. So let's go back to Romans 10 and 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if the faith is already in you, once you hear this word, you're going to believe. You're going to be compelled. Okay, that's why there's no excuses, man. This word is going out. Okay, through this internet, verse 18. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. So this word is getting out throughout the whole world. And those who were given that gift of faith after they received this word, they're going to believe. Okay. But many people, they don't have faith. They lack that. Let's go to the book of Luke. Chapter 18 and verse 8. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? So faith is very scarce on the earth. But remember, Faith is a gift. So certain people, 
have been given that gift. So when Yahweh Shai returns, he will find faith on the earth. But it's going to be scarce. Not everyone is going to have that faith. Only the ones who were given that faith as a gift from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai will be found faithful when the Son of Man, okay, or when Yahweh Shai returns. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? So the answer is yes. The Lord will find faith on the earth because according to Ephesians 2 and 8, faith is a gift. Okay. Which means what? Most don't have it. So seeing that most don't have it because a gift isn't something that everyone just gets. So seeing that everyone and most don't have it, those who do have it are going to be found faithful when the Son of Man returns. But you got to be chosen. Let's go to the book of John. You know, and I, I love this scripture too, man, because um, it really does put it in perspective that we don't control ourselves, we don't own ourselves. So we can't boast on ourselves. This is John 15 and 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. So you have to be chosen. You have to be ordained to be chosen. So when it comes to faith, you have to be given that faith. You have to be chosen to be given that faith before you even come into the world. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you that you love one another. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. So even though many people hate us, we are not to be ashamed. We are to hold on to our faith, all right? Because remember, the Lord, he chooses us. We don't choose him. And that should be our confidence. You should be more confident in knowing you didn't choose yourself, that, but you were called, or you, you didn't call yourself, but you were called by someone else and you may be chosen. That should be far more comforting than you just decided one day, you know what, I'm going to do this. Well, there's no real hope in that. But you should have hope in knowing that, <laughs> There's a higher power that that called you into doing this. So this is divine. Let's go to second Peter's. Chapter two and verse 18. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness, those that were clean escape from them. Who lived in error. While they promised them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome of the same as he brought in bondage. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai Mashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome the latter end. And overcome the latter end is worse than them than a beginning so a lack of faith is basically going to lead you back to corruption so faith-based israelites are going to be the ones to escape death because a faith-based israelite is not going to be ashamed a faith-based israelite is going to have faith by hearing this word all right a faith a faith-based israelite is going to be called by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. A faith based Israelite is not going to be troubled by someone's non belief. A faith based Israelite will be found faithful when Yahweh Shai returns to this earth, and so on, man. So, faith based Israelites will escape death. And anyone who tries to speak ill against a man because he has faith, well, you're just a fucking idiot. All right? But anyone who doesn't have faith and they come into this truth, 
they fall back into the world because they were never really given that gift of faith. They were eating unworthily. So I'm going to close it out there. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Wa Rakakwadash. And until my next lesson, Shalom.